organizing solutions for emergencies. It is myorganized.life, April 19th, 2018. We are live and oh my goodness, uh, you know, we're actually about a half hour later than normal because uh, we were dealing with something new that we're trying for this show. And I'm just gonna, do, I'm going to, first of all, welcome you to myorganized.life live. I'm John Hunt, Leanne is gone today. Uh, she's out on a photo shoot so uh, for some new products we're doing. So I'm doing the show solo again. Leanne likes to do that to me, but actually I decided, well, I'm not gonna do it solo. I am gonna bring on my friend, Ellen DeLapp from Houston. Ellen, how are you? Great, it's so good to be with you, John. Thank you so much for including me today. This is great. So this is live, that means you can't swear on, uh, on the show, okay? No swearing, but... Uh, no swearing, <laughs> got it. <laughs> anyway, we wanna talk a little bit about uh, organizing solutions for emergencies. Uh, we've done this before on one of our podcasts about, I think it was around a year ago, uh, because we brought you on uh, because your experience from the Houston area and the big Houston flood, uh, let's, let's relive that a little bit and uh, tell people, just for those who may have forgotten, maybe it was what, last uh, fall, right? Or right at the end yes. of August? Yes, it was August 26th. It's kind of a very important date here in Houston because people, surprisingly, the, you know, the world goes on, but here in Houston, we still have people who are living upstairs and have no downstairs. They have no walls. So because of the dire emergency we had in many areas of Houston with flooding, people are still trying to put their lives back together. Well, you know, it's really interesting because I think, you know, headlines change every day. You know, yesterday it was the Southwest Airlines flight and, yeah. you know, something new every day. And, you know, we do forget, forget a catastrophe that big takes yeah. years really to recover from for some people like you say there's still some people living in their upstairs so that's exactly. kind of bad right it's very surprising how much time it takes for us to to get our lives back together and um you know even the little things we take for granted every day that we still have no fedex here so uh, oh you're kidding no so there's a lot of little things every day we add an, a little new twinkle to something reopens so we're, we get very excited about that okay great well let's talk today uh, about uh emergency organizing so of course you can't predict when something like uh the big flood comes uh, or rain and rain and rain and the storm just kind of stalls there but um people need to be ready for this so what kind of uh, organizing solutions would you recommend for uh, emergency situations, what kind of documents and things do people need to be able to grab quickly in case there's an evacuation? Well, that's a really important question, John, because a lot of it is finding those documents for people. People think first about their um, will, their power of attorney, their medical power of attorney. And I wanna encourage everyone, if you have not already um, obtained those legal documents, please do so right away because it's just a critical element to everyday life because emergencies happen all the time. But even small things, when you think about leaving your house, of course, our first thing we think of is photos. So people might think about, you know, how can I digitize and get my photos cloud-based because that's so incredibly important to us, but also little things like taxes. So in the state yes. of Texas, we had, we could turn in our taxes in January from the previous year because of the flood. So you might want to keep a copy of your taxes with you. You definitely want to keep a copy of each of your um, accounts for utilities because even though you pay your bills online, you're going to have to refer to those account numbers from time to time. So there's a lot of small things, contact lists, people that you're in touch with, be sure they're in your phone. So those are really important documents. But um, one thing I love that Smead has helped so many people with is this emergency planner. Wow, because it gives what do you, you know? Because it gives you a place to put those documents and take them safely with you. Awesome. Because when people were leaving for the flood, they were putting things in a garbage bag. And that is not a very organized way to travel right. with your documents. Right. So I love that this case is available and it has different compartments. We can label things. It's a real bonus for people and everybody needs to get started on preparing for an emergency. It's quite what, sad. One of the great things that comes along with it too, I'm sure you can you have a copy of it there, is the Wheel of Organization, which yes. is the document that that's inside. And what's important about that is that it helps you pick out 
kind of helps you determine what some of those documents are. Right, and to take those baby steps, because it could be very overwhelming to you to think about, how do I find those documents? So that wheel is very helpful for everyone just getting started. Right. I'm finding and getting their documents organized. Right. Now, you you had a copy of it, obviously, there. You got one from us. Uh, we sent mm -hmm. it to you so you could look at it. How how hard do you think it is to organize uh, for an emergency with, with a tool like that? Oh, I think it makes it quite easy because it's really specific and it tells you exactly what you need. And as a result, that's when people get, like, the questions of what to put in and what to take. That kind of wheel really helps you determine. Right. So uh, list off some of the category headings there, just from a, a, a broad sense on what uh, would be included in a, in a kit like that. So some of the broad sense are, are legal documents yeah. that are helpful to start with. Everyone knows where they are. I also, um, I'm holding up my wheel of organization here. Yep. It's very helpful. Nice. Um, some of the documents it talks about insurance, of course, because of course we have to get insurance in touch with our insurance people. Um, it talks about banking and financial. Again, you have to have those documents that have our account numbers on them, the person that has our investments, our social security card, our medical documents. How many of us are already on medications that we have to have our prescriptions for? Um, and then our contacts and pets. Of course, we wanna have our pets safe with us. So this wheel of organization, if you just took one step, one different segment, it would be really easy for you to get started and complete the process without, uh, without a doubt, it's so much easier. Right. Well, and I think too, uh, you know, we, the, the important thing about this, I think if there was the moral to this story is start now, obviously you're not going to grab this when the rain's pouring down saying, oh, quick, yeah. quick, I got to get this together. So being proactive, you know, maybe on the driest day of the year is probably the best day uh, to start something like that, or, or even start now, right? I mean, that's that's kind of the, the main point. Exactly. It's never too early to get started on this. And the reason is because all of us will face an emergency. It's not when, it's, it's a matter of every family is facing different crises. And just by having this together, you're gonna have so much more peace of mind when that happens, and you're gonna feel so much more prepared. So today is the day, definitely, to get started. Well, Ellen, uh, this is great. I, I, you've done first of all, you've done a phenomenal job of filling in for Leanne. I know those are big oh, thank shoes you. to well, that's very difficult seriously. to fill. Yes, and especially since she just told me about this yesterday, and we just connected yesterday to do this. But uh, uh, why don't you let people know a little bit about your business and how they can get a hold of you? Well, my business is based in Houston, Texas, but I do work virtually. The name of my company is Professional-Organizer.com. And I primarily work with ADHD clients in helping them live the lives they imagined. So it's a fabulous way to make a difference in your own life is getting a little help to sort through not only your stuff, but also be more productive. Great. Well, Ellen, uh, as usual, thank you so much for uh, joining us uh, on such a short notice uh, and live. And of course, you know, we, like I said, we had a little bit of time. Uh, you know, we were on at 2.30. Normally we're on at 2 p.m. Central Time. Of course, this is the day we sent out our newsletter telling everybody, you know, tune in at two o'clock. But a lot of people watch this show uh, afterwards, not only on Facebook, but we can uh, post it on YouTube. You can go to myorganized.life. In fact, if you want to get a hold of the uh, emergency planning kit, uh, you can do that right at myorganized.life or go to smead.com. There's links for it there as well. So. Uh, Ellen, and then tomorrow we'll be back. Uh, with, hopefully, Leanne will be back tomorrow. Otherwise, I'll be doing our blogger roundup by myself. You know, uh, this will be the that might be like the third show this week. So we'll have to see if if she makes it back or not. She had a, she actually had a very big uh, responsibility today to to uh, shoot a bunch of photography. So. Um, are you giving us a hint about what these new products are, John? I would love to know, like a sneak peek, like one little tidbit. Well. I, I'll tell you what, let's see. I can give you one little sneak peek, but you know the way the product, uh, um, the product development process works at a big company like ours is that 
you know, we're working on products that aren't going to even be out until next year. But, you know, yeah. they've got to get the, the brochures and the photography done. But we do have a travel organizer, something for Ooh. people who like to be on the road a lot. Uh, and it's, a, a, it's very well thought of as far as how to keep, you know, your documents and things together. You know, a lot of people make their own, but this will yeah. be a special organizer just for travel. So Ooh, I love that idea. Uh, you know, hopefully we, they were not going to get know, mad at me for releasing that. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope Leanne is bringing one of those next week because Leanne and I are going to be seeing each other at our NAPO conference. And thank you to Smeed for um, being one of our partners that's yeah. going to be at our, our conference. So absolutely. Hoping, well, you know, two one of those will be there. Yeah. And make sure you talk to her. We're gonna, we're, I'm going to try to get her to do a live uh, uh, call in on next Friday, too, because that's awesome. uh, that's be uh, so she'll be there right at the time when the show is on. So we'll see if we can uh, get her nerves of steel up to uh, to to be able to do that. You know, this live TV stuff is kind of stressful, you know, it is. It's a, it's a lot to think about. Yeah. So no cursing, <laughs> no cursing allowed. Good. All right, Ellen. Well, we'll we'll catch you again, I'm sure soon. Leanne will see you next week at the Napo show. And folks, we'll see you tomorrow for a blogger roundup. Uh, which will wrap up another week of MyOrganized.life live. live.